Alright guys, so I might be a little bit late on getting to the gym right now because I woke up from a nap like literally five minutes ago, maybe less. And I'm a little bit tired, but that doesn't matter because what I'm going to be doing is drinking my energy, my pre-workout. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get big legs today. So, breakdown. So, um, yesterday was our push day. Um, but basically all we did was we did spot up press, which is a movement on bench where you go down, but you're not actually doing a touch and go movement. It's more so just, you're holding it in the air, then you're pushing up. So there's that, which I'm not sure if I recorded, maybe I recorded a couple clips or something, I'm not too sure. So it was that and pause bench, which we did five sets of, and then, Moved on to doing lat pull downs and then a bunch of other accessories as a part of our program because that's what they have us doing in it. So um, that was basically that. It was kind of boring. And then after um, me and Gabe got like mod pizza, then we went back to Muscle Factory to do a little interview. And then that was probably that entire day wrapped up. And then I had like all my stuff to do in the morning, which, yeah, yesterday was kind of a long day. So there was that. But today, is going to be the day, man. Like this is how you get big legs. This is what's gonna be the main factor in how you actually maintain leg growth or get leg growth in. Hopefully this is a lot of beneficial information that I'm gonna be giving you guys today because, well, first off, squatting, okay, which I'm gonna get into right now even though I'm a little late. Squatting is gonna be the main thing that is actually deciding and whether or not you get big legs, okay? Because if you're not squatting, you're not, you're not putting yourself through that grueling pain that's gonna actually make you achieve the physique that you want if you're trying to get big legs. Like squatting is by far the best movement you can do in the gym, hands down, like the best thing you can do. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to exactly squat and I'm pretty sure we got like a four by six today RP like eight or nine or something. So it's gonna be a good one. And I'm gonna show you guys that. But as of now, I'm pretty late. So I'm gonna hunker down this pre and I'll catch you guys. Yet again. I offered to do some pre workout. You just parked next to me. Explain to the people how squatting is probably the most beneficial thing you can do in terms of actually making progress for anything strength wise. I think squatting is simply necessary to be feeling good about yourself. And it's like, I feel like you're not really gonna get big if you're not doing any like hard ass shit. And I feel like squatting is probably the hardest, the thing, hardest thing you can do. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But the ancient Romans were squatting. And if you saw their legs, man, you'd be shaking. It's not, even, it's not even about like the leg size gains. Like, yeah, you can be that guy sitting in the leg. It activates your core, day. it activates your fucking upper but body and everything, just bro. Just for some reason, like, I was literally fucking stick bug my entire life. And then I decided to hop in a squat rack for the first time and like go actually hard on squatting. And that was like the first time I actually started making gains. So it's fast, I don't know bro. what the relationship is, but. Some, man. All right, so before we get into the squat day, me and Gabe were talking about what we were eating this morning, and I was basically saying how I kind of carved up. So I had like four eggs, I had an English muffin, I had three strips of bacon, and I had, uh, what else did I have? So four eggs, one English muffin, four strips of bacon, oh, and two hash browns, and two hash browns. On top of that, I had my gummies and everything, plus I had a nap, so like I'm feeling very good right now. Gabe went on his little walk that he does, and then he drank his orange juice and had his 
beef and rice and all that shit. So I'm feeling fucking phenomenal right now. And yeah, I just wanna come here and tell you guys what I ate before we hit this monstrous like day. And yeah, so we're gonna get into it in a second here. Just waiting. Yeah. Bunch, bro. Yeah, I'm shit. telling you, that shit's real. Like, if you like, if you're like squatting hard as shit, and like, you actually like, not you know you push yourself, but your body just, there's like a certain limit that you hit, and like, I just get this rush of like, it's like someone injected some shit in me, and like, I'm feeling like happy drugs. Like, I, yeah. Like, I'm still, look at that shit. It's fucking wild. I know. Dude. I get, I get it like hard. I'm getting that right now. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but me and Gabe, I know Gabe has gone heavier than this before, but like, or no, you I haven't. I haven't, haven't done. I haven't done 365 for six. Yeah, mm -hmm. and neither have I. So like, right now I just feel fucking crazy. We're getting shot. CNS, completely shot. Yeah, we're, I'm getting like a little bit. Like the reps are moving a lot slower. Like yeah. not jumping off like out of the hole as fast, but. I don't know, yeah. I feel like since, I don't know, me and Adam are being like pretty disciplined right now, like we're, we're like, we're talking about how we're eating, like we're getting sleep, like we're, we're doing a lot better than I feel like we were off program. Yeah. So it's like, if you're doing all those things right, you know you like, you should be getting stronger. So it kind of gives you like that, like that, like trust, I guess, in yourself. So even if you're moving slow, like Adam hasn't done this shit before, but he's still getting under there and like, he knows he's going to hit it. Yeah, exactly. So I had, we originally had 365 on, Gabe hit his third set with 365. And then I moved down just because like, like we said, like the form is starting to go sloppy. And once you like, once you hit your, your point where it's like, all right, like your central nervous system's firing, you're hitting good depth and you're bouncing up like a trampoline. Like it's all going good until, until you start getting lazy and relying on your legs and your legs start caving in and that's when you get injured. So I went down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. This is my first two sets, but like you can't. Be on program because then we can stick to the RPEs and stuff. Exactly. And with this kind of shit, if you if you ego lift, dude, you're like you're bound to get injured. So. Come on. 
All right, guys. So we finished up and finished off with tricep extensions and then some curls, just because that's what this program has us running. And I'll show you guys actually. This is everything that we did today. So focus on. All right, so that's everything we did. So we did squat, then we did uh, our mini deadlift, leg press, calf raise, tricep, cable extensions, and dumbbell curls. And finished up. God damn. Aesthetic. That's tough. So, yeah, feeling good. Uh, that's probably the most like intense leg day I think I've had in a fucking long ass time, bro. Juicy. Oh, that's, that was probably terrible. Cut that out. Cut that out, future Adam. Okay.